muscles. And we have roles of these muscles. We call it agonist, antagonist, synergist, stabilizers. Um, and agonists, uh, do anyone, uh, is anyone or was anyone in theater? Like the, the protagonist and antagonist? Yes? So what is what? What? Sort of? What is the, um, what is the antagonist? Um, the person that creates the problem. The problem person. Yeah. The, the bad guy. Yeah. Okay? The protagonist is the... The lead character. The lead the character, hero. the hero, the good guy. Okay? Um, and we, we don't call it protagonist, but we call it agonist. Okay? So the agonist is trying to do something. The bad guy, the antagonist, is trying to not let him do it. You guys see that? Okay, and in a muscle or in a joint, how do we see that? So we have this joint here. This guy, let's say it's called the agonist, it's trying to move this joint this way. Do we have another muscle behind there that's kind of resisting it? It's called the, the antagonist, and we'll call it the antagonist. Okay, you guys see that? Right? I don't even care what it's called right now, whatever it's called, but we see that there's a inherent. Uh, conflict of interest between these two muscles here, okay? One pulls this way, one pulls this way. You guys see that? So one is the agonist, one is the antagonist. And then we also have synergists. Um, agonists we also, also call the primary mover, okay? And the synergists assist the prime mover. So synergy is like when you bring uh, your resources together to make a bigger outcome or a better outcome, right? Bigger results or better results by bringing your resources together. Okay, so the synergist helps the agonist. Okay, so different muscles helping to do this motion. Okay, and then the stabilizer holds everything in place so this can happen. So maybe I have some little muscles that are contracting around the elbows so it doesn't flop around while I'm trying to make this motion. Maybe I have some muscles in the shoulder that keeps this arm in place while I'm trying to make this motion. Right, if my arm's flying out in, in, in the air, it's got to be hard to try to move my elbow how I want to. Okay, so there's these relationships. Okay, um, and why is that important? Because when the brain tells the agonist to move, it simultaneously, at the same time, sends a uh, signal to the antagonist to not contract. Okay, so remember we can only contract or not contract muscles. That's it. So it's a good idea, right? If I want to contract one side to not contract the other side. And that's what you do. Uh, and this is the relationship. How do we remember this? Or let's help remember this, or maybe let's just play. Um, I, the massage therapist actually uh, told me this is how he remembers it. One time, uh, massage therapist James, and I've been teaching this ever since. Okay, the agonist is Batman, okay? Mm -hmm. And the antagonist is Joker. Okay, Batman wants to make an action happen. Joker is trying to fight him on it, okay? And who helps Batman make the action happen? Robin. So Robin would be the what? Synergist. The synergist, good. And then someone's in the background kind of stabilizing everything so, so they can do their job. And they have, they have someone in the back, so that's a stabilizer, and that guy would be, yes, Alfred. <laughs> cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that's how we remember.